Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fun and Justice. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you and thank you so much. Most importantly, I want to thank the people who have been giving us reaction videos, the people who have been subscribing, the people who have been supporting us on Patreon and on our um, a Bitcoin link and stuff like that. You guys are really, really amazing. If you want to check out all the links, the links are going to be on the description below. And thank you once again. So today we're going to do something really amazing. This was suggested by a lot of people. They suggested that we should go do uh, eating of pork is around in Islam and Christianity. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's get it. Uh, my name is Janilda and uh, I'm a Christian. Like uh, since a long time I've been having conflicts with myself. The questions that I would like to ask today are mostly like maybe assumptions or like things where I've been influenced from people. Like my first question, it's about uh, pig. Uh, basically I would like to know what exactly is the meaning of haram? Like, uh, is uh, for a religion like Islam, it won't accuse anyone of being wrong, yeah? Uh, it, it wouldn't say something to be so wrong. Why is uh, pig haram? Because uh, I had attended a Christian convention and over there it was told, like there was this priest who was saying that why is pork haram in Islam? Uh, he gave an example saying that uh, uh, like, the same rubbish, like uh, it was used as manure for the plants. Uh, the plants, uh, like supposing it was a mango, mango tree, the mango grew, the roots had absorbed the same nutrients. The same rubbish, it uh, grew into mango and we consume it. So how is it different from consuming it in pork and uh, the mango? This is a question that what is the meaning of haram and why is pork haram in Islam and she gave the example of the priest a Christian priest who said that manure which is dirt and filth is used by the tree the tree grows and then mango comes and we eat mango trying to say that even if we eat the filth of the pork it may be good for someone else, may not be good for others, that's what he means to say. So in Islam it's haram, but Christianity it's allowed. Sister, first I will tell you the meaning of haram means prohibited, means forbidden. Haram in Islam means prohibited, it means forbidden. I will answer your question of the priest first and then I will come to the real reason why pork is haram. The priest gave the example that manure is supposed to be dirt and filth is healthy for the tree and when the tree grows it gives mango and we eat the mango trying to say that maybe it's haram for Muslims but good for Christians if you compare the manure which is filth for the human beings it may be good for the plants because plants and human beings are two different beings they aren't the same they are different but in Islam and Christianity, the human beings are the same. We may follow different religions, but what is good for one human being as a general thing is good for the other human being unless he has certain problems. For example, if he has diabetes, then sugar may not be good for him. But normally sugar is good. It gives you energy. Unless he has some problem, then it may not be good for him. But as far as general human beings are concerned, the rule for all the human beings, what is good and bad, is the same. So you can't give the example of manure is good for some and not good for others. What we have to see, we have to go to the guide. What does the guide tell us? And we'll try and analyze what does the guide tell us. The guide in Christianity, it is the Bible. The guide in Islam is the Quran. When we read the Quran, there are no less than four different places where the Quran says pork is prohibited. 
Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 173, in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 3, in Surah Anam chapter number 6 verse number 145, and Surah Nahal chapter number 16 verse number 115, Hurrimat alaykumul maitu tu waddam walamun kizi, wa ma uilla li gheri labi, forbid for you for food, ah, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken. So your Quran says in no less than four different places that eating the flesh of pig, pork is prohibited. Similarly, if you read the Bible, Bible in no less than three different places says pork is prohibited. Bible says in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8, that thou shalt not eat the flesh of swine, nor touch its carcass. It's unclean for you. A similar message is given in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. Though the swine has cloven foot and it chews not the cud, it is unclean for you. Similarly, it is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, that you should not have the flesh of swine. So, Bible says in no less than three different places that you should not have the flesh of swine. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 720, that think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy but to fulfill. For anyone who breaks one of the least commandments shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. That means if you break one law, one jot or tittle from the Old Testament, you shall not enter Jannah. So as a Christian, if you believe in the Bible, then eating pork is prohibited for you, is forbidden for you, is haram for you. If you are a Muslim, if you believe in the Quran, it is prohibited. If you do not believe in the Bible or do not believe in the Quran, let's analyze what does today's reason and logic and science say about pork. Today science tells us that if you have the flesh of swine, there are chances that you may have no less than 70 different diseases. You can have pinworm, you can have roundworm. The most dangerous amongst <coughs> all these diseases, it is tapeworm. It's called Asthenia solium. And it harbors in the intestine and is very long. Even if you cook the food very well, the eggs, the ova of Tinea solium does not die. And from the intestine, through, via the bloodstream, it can go to almost all the organs of your body. It can enter the eye and cause blindness. It can enter the heart and cause heart attack. It can enter the brain and cause brain damage. And by the time you realize you are suffering from the disease, it's an irreversible damage done. Furthermore, today science tells us that when you eat pork, it is more of fat building material rather than muscle building material. That is the reason most of the people who are regular pig eaters, they have got tires, they have got flaps. Today science tells us that by eating pork, there are high chances of having atherosclerosis. atherosclerosis. Today science tells us that if you eat pig regularly, you may have hypertension. That is the reason more than 50% of the Americans today they are suffering from hypertension because most of them are pig eaters. Today science tells us that one of the most filthiest animal on the face of the earth is the pig. Wherever you find dirt and filth, you will find the pig there. Today science also tells us that pig is one of the most shameless animal on the face of the earth. Pig today is one of the most shameless animal on the face of the earth. It enjoys seeing its spouse, seeing its mate have sex with his friend. <laughs> In the western countries, we have dance parties. After dance parties, we are swapping of wives. You sleep with my wife, I sleep with your wife. Do you think it's modest? And there is a scientific thing that you eat pig and you behave like pig. Hope this answers the question, sister. <coughs> <laughs> well, you heard it. If you eat pig, you behave like a pig. But anyway, um, I mean, of course, it's really scientifically, health-wise, it's not good to eat pig. I mean, it's not, it's not good. Like, to be honest, pig, uh, I mean, pork is, I mean, it carries so much compared to other meats and whatnot. 
and it's so um, I wouldn't want to recommend someone to eat pork because it's it's just bad for your health now when you go to religious aspect uh, Muslims don't eat pork and it's prohibited and uh, just like the way Dr. Zakir Naik has put it put it out there I mean even uh, um, I think in the Bible also I think it's been mentioned in there that uh, Christians shouldn't eat pork or something like that but I think maybe they haven't realized that it's in the book or maybe the thing is maybe the level of ignorance is there or maybe they know but they feel like oh, I, we, I can still eat this and whatnot I don't know so much is happening around you get it a lot of things have been misconstrued and people are just doing whatever they feel like they want to do something now I mean this is a very amazing discussion the lady wanted to understand why do Muslims don't eat pork and why do Christians eat pork and these are two different religions uh, that have it can be uh, uh, different beliefs but they have some similarities in there but why don't one but why don't they differ when it comes to eating pork but now the thing is it's just vividly uh, pronounced here that it's even in the Bible that people uh, that pork is also prohibited in there you get my point so I even found out that um, early Christians were vegetarians you get it they were, they were not eating like meat or stuff like that I mean so so impressive and that goes to say that uh, meat is something that we shouldn't be eating that's what I'm thinking about you get it okay now this is out of the contest this is just my own opinion I turned vegan in the year 2017 the reason of me becoming vegan is because I love animals I feel animals shouldn't be killed you know I feel bad when I eat dead flesh I feel bad when I eat dead uh, flesh yeah and uh, knowing that it came out from an animal who really wanted to live and probably was fighting for his life when he was being killed and I find it very wrong you understand I find it so bad and personally I feel like we shouldn't be doing that to animals you get it animals don't do that to us no they don't come to us and and and, and kill us uh, without because we don't ask them for any consent you know if we could have asked for an ani for for any animal for for consent like for example hey can i kill you because i'm hungry i need to eat you then probably the animal will be like okay cool i understand that you get it but it's out of um out of grudge or out of hunger that like people just want to uh, no, no no not even like like there's so much capitalism out there people want to make money people want to uh, it's uh, good stuff people wanna you know there's so much pleasure by eating meat and people love it so it's no longer a thing of uh, trying to create a concept between you and an animal but it's just more like no I want to make more money I want to make more profit so I want to kill this animal so they can be able to sell it to the consumers and the consumers love it you get it because it tastes nice and it's it tastes more better than vegetables which is which is true but I myself I feel like it's not really good I eat plants because plants are living I mean you eat life you get it you, plants don't 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 die I mean they have a lifespan you get it but they don't they don't like die completely and then just start decaying or something like that you get my point the thing is when you go cut uh, let's say if you're eating curls you cut the curls they will still grow back you take a mango or maybe bananas they still grow back if you kill an animal an animal will not grow back an animal will just you know 
completely die and gone so you have to breed in small babies to grow up again and then kill it and all those kind of things which is I'm sorry guys I'm going out of the topic but anyway I just wanted to give you my own perspective about just eating animals be it pork uh, goats what whatever the situation but again uh, different religions have their different beliefs on different animals you get it like the, the Hindus they don't eat cows you get it most of them are vegetarians you get it so they have different beliefs but again um, you have to respect them because that's their own uh, uh, indoctrination that's their own way of of living through um, their good book or the Quran or the Bible or the Torah and all those kind of things you have to you know respect that at the end of the day you know you can't just go and argue because it's written in the in the Quran and it's written in the Bible and that's good but anyway such an amazing discussion over here the lady actually probably got his answer and Dr. Zaki Naik ended by saying that uh, if you eat pig you behave like a pig if you feel like I reacted to this video better just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about this reaction video over here and what you feel about just how I've reacted to this video and be sure to just go and subscribe to our channel make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be the first person to watch our videos and the last but not the least guys I'm going to see you in the next video and peace out